Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT Online Weekly Updates video going about this week we've got a new vehicle as the Price Right Challenge car and it is the Coil Brawler and the challenges for this week is that we need to come in the top 3 places for 3 days in a row in the Pursuit Series races. It's not that big of a deal you can just do it fairly easily and get this car for free. I mean not that it is an expensive vehicle so you don't have to break your head too much for this car but still the option to win it for free is always there. Moving on to the Casino Podium we've got the Pegasi Infernus Classic as the podium vehicle and yeah it's a pretty good sports classic car and if you're a fan of it or just want to collect it then go ahead and try out your luck at the Casino Podium. Now moving on to the discounts and other stuffs well we have got a new vehicle released to GT Online this week. The Villa Eudora I'm pretty sure this is gonna be there for you know probably just a week just like you know last week and a few other vehicles on the previous weeks as well. They kind of got released to GT Online just for a week and Rockstar removed them again. So this too might be the same case and I'm pretty sure many of you were looking forward to this car. So finally, here it is being released to GT Online. And if you guys want to see what all customizations this car has to offer, I've already made a video. Make sure to check it out. I'll be linking it at the top as well as at the end of the video. And then moving on to the discounts, we have the Overflow Tyrant as well as the Chevelle Type 1 on discount. There's the Hijack Rustan on discount. Adding to the list is the Imponte Beta Dukes. There's the Sea Sparrow as well on discount this week. And finally, there's the Miljet. This, guys, just skip it. It's not worth it. I'm pretty sure you will probably never even use it even once. So just go ahead and skip this vehicle. And then there's the Brickade 6x6. And uh, this too is the same thing, guys. Instead of having to spend even half a million dollars on this, even while it's on discount, it is best to just do the first dose missions. I mean guys you will be making upwards of $700,000 doing those missions including those rewards as well so and on top of that you will get this vehicle for free by completing those missions so why would you even want to spend any bit of money on purchasing this vehicle right it literally does not make any sense to buy this thing and finally we have got the weaponized tampon discount this week adding to the discounts there's the armors all the five types of armor are on discount and there's the ammo for all the weapons too on discount this week this also includes the mark 2 weapons so they are not excluded this time so each and every type of ammo are on discount this week moving on to the time trials well the normal time trials is at the davis which is the groove street with a part time of 1 minute 20 seconds now this is actually very very easy and you can complete it with you know a lot of time left in the timer for the rc time trials on the other hand it is at the vespucci beach with a part time of 2 minute 5 seconds now this is slightly trickier and you probably might take two or three tries to complete it but still can be completed easily now moving on to the bonuses that's going on for this week we have triple money bonus going on the overtime rumble adversary game mode now this is one of the most fun adversary game modes and i used to play this a lot back in the day as well and along with that there's the sumo remix adversary game mode paying out double money this week i mean last week we had the normal sumo which is actually much better and more fun than this but still this is the remix version and this is on double money this week Adding to that, the first dose missions as well as the last dose missions, you know, the last dose missions got added to GT Online today. Both of these are paying out double money, guys. I mean, also to everyone, keep in mind, these missions are only worth doing when they are on double money because even with double money, you get paid like twenty to $24,000. That's absolutely very pathetic, but still, that's Rockstar Economy. So yeah, I highly recommend doing these when it's on double money, guys. Along with that, there's the 50% bonus going on the Fooligan jobs, which you can call up DAX and request these works. Hey, so these me. are paying out 50% more than the usual time. So yeah, not all of those missions are worth it because some take a ridiculously long time, but you know, few of them are pretty much oh, easier dog. and faster to complete. Moving on, there's the 50% speed boost going on the asset production. So the asset business is going to be producing 50% much faster than the usual time. So that's a pretty good thing. There's also the asset lab equipment installation on 30% discount this week. So the new players that are yet to get this asset lab business and start it up, well, there's going to be an advantage for you guys for this week. Lastly, there's also two times the bonus going on the resupply missions. Not the purchase ones, but the manual resupply missions. So instead of the usual one unit of supplies, you'll be getting two unit of supplies. So that's a pretty good thing. But I mean, who does manual resupplies, right? <laughs> yeah, 
anyways that's with that moving on one thing that i wanted to point out is well Roxas murder issue is still not fixed. I mean, I don't even have any expectation that you know it's going to be fixed anytime soon. Because take a look at this. The first thing that I see when I log into GT Online is some murder has put a bounty on someone that is in the negative millions. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all for a brief moment. And uh, yeah, I don't have much expectations for Rockstar Games. What a shit show, I can say. Moving on, well, with the completion of the last dose missions, we will be getting a free new car. So the first dose missions, once we complete them, we'll be getting the acid lab that is the Brigade 6x6. So that was a really good thing. And with the completion of the last dose missions, we will be getting a new free car. So here it is. I just wanted to you know, complete the missions so I could show it to you guys in this update video. And it is none other than the Ocelot Virtue which is based on the Lotus Evija hypercar. So yeah, all in all, it's a pretty good car and uh, thumbs up from my side. You know, I've already made a complete detailed customization and top speed test video. If you have not seen it, make sure to check it out. But nonetheless, completing these missions and getting this car for free is a good thumbs up from my side. Also, one important thing that you guys need to keep in mind is that this car is not released at this moment. It is presently a drip fed vehicle still. This week, we only got the Willard Eudora being released to GT Online. This is not even released. This is the only way you guys can unlock and get this car for free. So make sure to grab it and uh, yeah, check it out. That's with all of the stuff that's going on for this week, guys. What do you guys think? I mean, finally, after like three months, we've got the part two of the story missions. Three months, guys. I literally have forgotten the basic story of the first those missions. I mean, who has to wait like three freaking months, man? This was like absolutely pathetic. But nonetheless, we have finally got it. So yeah, let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. What do you guys think? Did you guys try it? Or did you not even bother logging into GT Online because of all the inactivity and uh, very lack of content we have got for all of us old players? Anyways, that's with the end of the video. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned. Thank you all and have a good day.